Hey guys, this is Dan with SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're going to go over our CCV reroute kit that we sell for the 2011 to current 6.7 Power Stroke. Uh, we kind of have everything laid out on the table here, and we have a driver's side valve cover as well, just to kind of show you where all the components go. So, on the on the driver's side valve cover is where the crankcase vent box is located. There's two main ports in the valve cover that the box sits over. One is for the crankcase gases to come up into the box, and the other one is a drain back port. And after it comes up through, the crankcase vent comes up through the box, uh, the, your crankcase pressure, it's going to go through a filter. After it goes through that filter, it comes out of the box and goes to the intake side of the turbocharger. And basically all that oil and vapor gets sucked back into the engine it's kind of an emissions based process. So it sucks the, the oil and fumes and everything back into the engine to reburn it. And it can cause oil deposits on the intake track of the engine, um, which obviously for the health and longevity of the engine is not the greatest of things. Um, back in the day, the over the road trucks, uh, the early Cummins engines, tractors, they all had things called draft tubes, which essentially were a tube that came out of the block or the valve cover and pointed towards the ground. And they worked very well. They didn't obviously didn't have any issues with that. And things have changed over the years and everyone understands how all that stuff progresses. So our CCV reroute kit is to allow you to eliminate the box. If you want to do a draft tube, you can. You can also reroute it back if you want to do so. But it gives you some flexibility, it eliminates the filter, eliminates a lot of the stuff that can cause problems. So what we can do here, we'll kind of go over all the parts on the bench that we have and how we offer these kits. So the main pieces to the, the basic CCV kit are right here. And we'll show you on the valve cover. This is the oil block off plug. So this is the drain back for the box. Obviously you won't have that anymore. This is an O-ringed plug, drops right in there. And then obviously you have the port for the crankcase pressure to come out of the engine. And we have a Venturi style adapter that goes to a three quarter inch hose. And it essentially goes on like that. And the idea behind the Venturi is to allow oil vapor to kind of hit the wall of this as it's coming up through. It, it helps with keeping more of the oil vapor in the engine and not allowing it to escape. Because obviously the more oil vapor that you get into the tube, the more prone it's gonna be to dripping. Um, that is a common thing with you know doing this, this type of a, a CCV rear out. If you are running a draft tube, it is possible to get a lot of oil buildup and stuff inside of the tube. Now, we also offer another kit which is our internal catch can, which is an add-on piece. And, the add -on, and from an add-on standpoint, it can work with almost any other standard CCV kit on the market. But obviously we tailored it to work with ours the best. So it's a, it's a baffle specifically designed to work with this engine and valve cover. So what it does, if you look inside of this, valve cover let me get a light here if you look inside of the valve cover you can clearly see there's a floor in it the walls taper and then this is where right here is where the actual crankcase pressure gets into this port and essentially what we did is we used the floor of this and the size and shape to create an actual catch can. So this, this becomes the wall of the catch can. And we designed this piece as the baffle and oil and air separator. And it drops down in here like that. And then you'll center it and it actually locks in. And you can see that on the baffle side, it creates a catch can. So the, the baffle is essentially separating and working half of the internal bore of this so that the, the floor side is actually, you know, allows the oil to build up and then drain back. And there's a, 
a notch cut into the bottom of this to also allow that oil to drain back to the engine. So anything that would build up in there can go back to the crankcase. Also in the top of the baffle, there is a notch as well. So if anything would build up on the floor of this, it can drain back. Because this obviously the valve cover being mounted on the engine is going to be at an angle. So everything's going to want to move that direction. And then what you do is the your standard hose adapter is going to go on top of the internal catch can to essentially look like that. And that obviously is all designed to work together. This bore is this size. You know, it's, it is designed to work very well with our system. Once again, you can use it with other crankcase systems that have this, that retain the bolt pattern and everything. So now that you kind of understand how this functions and the way that we use it um, in, in this situation on the valve cover, what we'll do is we'll kind of finish going over our components here. So those are the main, kind of the main pieces to the kit. And then we also include a, a five ply silicone hose. This is a silicone hose rather than a standard uh, heater hose type material, uh, standard rubber material, because standard heater hose, which is in a lot of the, our, our competitors kits, standard heater hose will actually absorb oil and the oil vapor. And then it can become saturated and it, it gets squishy and just turns to crap. The silicone does not do that. Um, that's one of the main reasons we go with silicone in our kit. And there's a boot to go on the side of the in, the suction side of the lower intake manifold because you're obviously not going to be routing it through there. And then hardware and clamp. Now that we kind of went over everything on the table here and the functionality of the crankcase vent system on the 6.7, we'll pop the hood on the truck here and kind of show you what it looks like um, being laid out and how it looks. All right, now that we're under the hood here, you can kind of see each of the components. Um, there's your, this is the, obviously the void of, in the area of the engine bay here that this, this box, the CCV box takes up. That's the oil drain back plug there. And on this truck, you can see in the back there, that's the catch can, internal catch can and the adapter for the hose on top. The silicone hose runs out of there. We route it normally up over the brake booster because it keeps it from kinking and it's a nice path runs down the back side of the inner fender underneath the truck. That's the routing that we recommend and it seems to work the best. All right guys, now that you got to kind of see what everything looks like under the hood of the truck, I'll touch real quick on the kits once again. It's our standard kit. If you want to cut down on the oil vapor and maybe a little bit of the smell and the output coming out of the hose, that's where the internal catch can comes in and kind of helps cut that back a little bit. The other thing that you can also do in these situation is you can actually add a physical catch can underneath the truck that you could drain on oil changes. Um, we may be coming out with something like that in the future. So, you know, keep an eye out for something like that. Um, but basically, yeah, this is, this is the uh, internal catch can and CCV kit that we offer for the 2011 and up 6.7 Power Stroke. You can get all the information on this on our website. We have a lot of bullet points and explanations on all of this. If you have any questions, you can email us, call us, and thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.